Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another day in my 30,000 steps a day for 30 days challenge. Here's the day's total so far. So yeah, well on course to make today's total. Just going to turn my phone off a second. Put it in my bag. So I can have my hands free to film and talk to you guys as I'm walking. As you can see, I'm on Park Road right now. Just been to Aldi's to get a few bits and bobs of food. Got some grapes, some bananas, some bread. Couldn't get any butter. Well, I could have got butter, but they didn't have the butter I wanted, so I just didn't get any. I'll have to see if I can get some bummer littles later. You can see St. John Vianney's Church there. That is recently been added to my short videos series. I love to put new series on the channel. Short videos will mostly be posted at 12am not every day but most days and 12am is in midnight and anyway here we go I'm walking up the hill and it's another nice day in Blackpool so there's a bit of a wind it's not as warm as it has been but it's still warm enough for me to not need a coat which I'm kind of liking right now yeah so this challenge I think it's going to be over I mean I'm not halfway through yet I'm over a third of the way through but not halfway through yet but it feels like it's going to be over soon time seems to be moving fairly quickly right now I'm looking forward to going back to work in a couple of weeks less than two weeks actually so that's going to be absolutely great I'll still be able to film video so don't worry about that I'll just have to take a lot more care in managing my schedule because once I go back to work I'll be back to my old working six days a week but I don't work super long days so will still be good for filming. I'll just have to get up earlier and film. That's what it is. Right now, I'm just enjoying taking a walk. And getting the steps in, of course. I may have to do a big portion of today's steps in my back garden. Last time I did that, it was real, it was the Sunday I think, and it was super duper raining, and I did a lot of steps in my house, and I did um, quite a lot of them in the back garden with my coat on and my hood on, getting wet. But during 2020, when we first started going into lockdown, I rarely went out. I was going out just maybe three walks a week and filming, trying to film three or four videos at the time I went out and I was doing a lot of walking in the back garden and the thing is my cats follow me or well, Heidi does anyway I start walking around the garden Heidi walks with me because she's a strange little cat is my girl Heidi she thinks she's a dog she acts like a newborn puppy but She's not even a young cat anymore really, she's not an elderly cat or anything, I think she's about nine years old now. I can't really remember exactly how old she is, but her and Trixie, they're sister cats. And a lot of people have asked me why I haven't got Trixie in any videos. Siren coming. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking me why I don't get more videos of Trixie and sh 
she's not really comfortable being filmed she's a really shy cat and she's quiet and she does a lot of the time just like to lie around and sleep and just skulk off on her own and I have tried to film but she just walks off a lot of the time if I can catch her when she's relaxed and film her while she's comfortable I will get a little bit of footage of her I do have a bit of footage of Trixie on my channel I just don't have a lot Heidi doesn't mind being filmed but she refuses to do anything cool for the camera if I'm playing with her and I'm not filming, she'll jump up to my hand, she'll do little things, she'll do little puppy tricks. But once I get the camera out, it's like she knows. And she's just like, lol, no, I'm not going to do that. And she just stops. AJ was the best cat for being filming. My beautiful old boy cat, who we very sadly lost late last year. And I do have video of him on my channel. And also I'm gonna get some more video of Bitey. Now the weather's improved, he's taken to sleeping on my lawn. Well, I should say on my grass, because it's not really a lawn. It's not neat enough to be called a lawn, but he likes chilling and sleeping on my grass now, rather than just staying in his shelter all the time. So I'll be able to see if I can get a bit of bitey footage because he's still turning up every morning for his food and just like that the traffic sees right off well more or less there's still cars coming obviously but not that many and as you can see I'm on the shadowy, colder side of the road. The other side is the sunny side, but that's okay. At least the sun's on my back rather than in my face for this video. And you guys are getting to see down Park Road. I still have to add this one to the Streets of Blackpool series. in this area but I haven't actually added Park Road officially yet to the series but yeah I should do that when I can the road on my left here that is Sharrow Grove heading on down there the road on the right is St Ives Avenue that heads all the way down to Whitegate Drive and the road I'm coming up to now is Condor Grove and that cuts straight through Park Road Condor Grove down that way to the right that was the site of the back entrance to the original old Tilsley school well the junior school the upper school was on a different site but the front entrance to the old Tilsley was actually on Somerset Avenue because they knocked it all down and they built the new Chidlingford courthouses in front of that house and we're almost at the end of this little vlog now well we're almost at the end of this part of the vlog of course you will see the end of day total added same as most days, well all days so I am going to stop this one for now and here is my end of day total
there you go. And here I am right back with the end of day total, 31,203 steps, 12.31 miles, 888 calories and 4 hours and 28 minutes of active walking time. And here we have the last 7 days totals up there. Let's see what Fitbit's got to say. Fitbit says 30,341 steps, 13.22 miles, 2,317 calories burned and 136 minutes of activity. Let's go back on to the main one. There you go, so I will leave you that one. Challenge still on track and it's looking good guys. So I will see you very soon in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.